Okatan's live action appearance in The Mandalorian Season 2 was one of the epic moments of the show. But the ending of the final episode left fans wondering what is next for the character. Well, we might have new information to go off of. Take my hand. Greetings my young Padawans, my name is Captain Jack and welcome to Star Wars Now. Today we're talking about the upcoming Mandalorian Season 3, which is about to go into filming and release next year. With this, we know that it's likely that Katie Sackhoff will be returning as Bo-Katan cries, even if it's not officially confirmed by Lucasfilm and Disney. Thanks to a new interview, Katie has spoken more about what her character might be doing in the upcoming season. Before we jump into the video, use the force and hit that subscribe and like button to never miss a video from myself and the team here at Star Wars Now. As always, if you're talking about Star Wars, then we want to hear about it. Flash Film spoke to Katie Sackhoff about bo future during the interview with her, all about the upcoming night of the animated dead film. Katie kept most of her Lucasfilm secrets close to her chest, but does tease that her ass-kicking Mandalorian Bo-Katan will of course be back in the next season. Subtle, of course. Katie says the following during the interview. The way that Lucasfilm left me in Season 2, on the road they could be going down, absolutely. You'd think, would be the unfinished business. But that is so far above my pay grade, and you just don't know, right? As a fan of a show, I'm just excited to see what they come up with. Now, of course, she's being secretive about it for obvious reasons, as is everyone when it comes to Disney and Lucasfilm's projects. Now, it's kind of obvious that Bo-Katan will be back in business come Season 3 of The Mandalorian. Given how Season 2 ended between her and Din Djarin, the Darksaber plot is something that does need to be resolved. Bo-Katan was offered the Darksaber after Din won it in combat with Moff Gideon. However, she did not accept it, believing if she hadn't won the Darksaber in combat, it would not be hers to truly keep, and be viewed as a pretender to the throne of Mandalore. This, of course, would make her illegitimate in the eyes of Mandalorians. It's yours now. What is? The Dark Saber. It belongs to you. It must be won in battle. In order for her to wield the Dark Saber again, she would need to defeat you in combat. He's right. During the interview, Katie spoke about her character's relationship with Ahsoka Tano, or rather the untold relationship. Given Ahsoka is getting her own series soon, it's something that might be explored. We know that the series will likely see other characters cross over, and it's a part of the ever-expanding story universe that Dave Filoni and Jon Favreau have been cooking up. The duo are certainly plotting at the future of not only The Mandalorian, but also the additional spin-off shows such as Ahsoka and potentially Rangers of the New Republic, if that series is even development anymore. Katie said the following on what bo Katan has been up to. Dave and I talk a lot about Bo and her backstory, and time lost, and we like things like that, just because we enjoy talking about Star Wars and the characters. I definitely know a lot about who she is, and where she's been, and what's happened. So yeah, I knew that kind of stuff for sure. Now, whether we'll see further expansion of Bo's backstory will remain to be seen. Given her quest to eventually get the Darksaber back, and likely return to ruling over Mandalore, it might be something we see. How she lost the Darksaber in the first place would be something to look at, and it would not surprise me if we saw further flashback scenes in the upcoming third season. Of course, we've also got the Book of Boba Fett coming out later this year. I'd say it's unlikely we'll see bo appear in that series, but it depends at what point the story is set and when it takes place. Thinking more about Season 3, we know very little about it. We virtually know nothing about the plot itself and where it'll take Din Djarin and if we'll even see Grogu again. Give his departure of Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker at the end of Season 2. How will bo fit into the story? As mentioned, it's obvious she is returning really. Personally, I can see Season 3 featuring a return to Mandalore, now that the Dark Saber is actually back in the hands of a true Mandalorian. They can reunite their people and perhaps claim back the long lost planet, after what the Empire did to it. Though, Din himself perceives Mandalore as a cursed planet, even stating that to Bo herself. Once we've done that, we'll see any Mandalore on the throne. That planet is cursed. Anyone who goes there dies. Once the Empire knew they couldn't control it, they made sure no one else could either. Don't believe everything you hear. Our enemies want to separate us. But Mandalorians are stronger together. It could be helpful in your effort to regain Mandalore. You gotta be kidding me. Mandalore? The Empire turned that planet to glass. When we meet her in the Mandalorian, bo was working on stealing weapons from the Imperial Remnants to eventually retake her homeworld. Given her desire to rule the planet once again, it would make sense that Season 3 would focus on this, 
and other protagonists in tow, or perhaps leading the conquest himself. A fight of retaking Mandalore has got even more assets now, as Katarn seized control of Moff Gideon's light cruiser, giving her another vital asset in her quest to secure more firepower in retaking Mandalore. Whether it's even worth retaking Mandalore is up for debate though. During the confrontation between Bo, Koska Reeves, and Boba Fett, Fett himself expressed his disapproval of the plan, and Katarn's efforts, stating that the Empire had turned the planet to glass, effectively suggesting that there wasn't a plan to save, and the heiress was wasting her time and valuable resources on a lost cause. We've been waiting to see a live action version of Mandalore since the debut of the Mandalorian series all the way back in 2019. It amazes me we have not seen the planet yet, not even in a little flashback. Though, as we've learned, if the planet is deemed cursed or lost, it could use further story development before we see it, which would explain Season 1 and 2's absence of the planet. I could see Season 3 opening with some sort of tense relationship or even a standoff between Bo-Katan and Din Djarin. Perhaps we'll see a new fight over control of a Darksaber, given it does need to be won in combat for it to be legit. But can we see our main protagonist losing this legendary weapon? It remains to be seen. Dave Filoni and John Favreau will need to find some way to resolve this confrontation storyline and put bo back on track to retaking Mandalore. I'm hoping we do see this story element within Season 3, but it does remain to be seen. We're going to need to wait some time before we see Season 3 of The Mandalorian. With only starting production later this month, Lucasfilm's pipeline of content is rather stocked right now. Given we've got The Book of Boba Fett, which is being touted as The Mandalorian Season 2.5, along with Obi-Wan Kenobi and or Anasoka all in production. Basically, don't expect The Mandalorian Season 3 until 2022. But when the show does return, you should expect to see what's next for the fierce Bo-Katan and her quest for the Darksaber and retaking Mandalore. How do you think Bo-Katan will fit into the story of The Mandalorian Season 3? Do you think we'll fight Din to reclaim a Darksaber or perhaps fall into a different role? It remains to be seen as of yet. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with all the latest Star Wars news, lore and more. You can also follow us on social media as well. Make sure to let us know what you think in the video comment section below. Because if you're talking about Star Wars, then of course we want to hear about it. That's it for myself today on Star Wars Now. I've been Captain Jack and we'll be seeing you next time. May the Force be with you.